Hey guys, this video is at least a week overdue, but I really wanted to take my time and really kind of test out the Anycubic Mega X before I did a, a final thought, show you some prints, things like that. So stay tuned and let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, I have moved my Mega X to its new home and anybody who knows me knows I name all of my printers after Transformers. This is Ratchet. So Ratchet is in his new home and I have done a lot of work and I have tested and printed and tested and tested. I cannot tell you how much I love this printer. I really do. Um, instead of doing like a multi-camera blah, 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 I'm just gonna show you the machine. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I've printed off of it. And I'm gonna, instead of just even trying to zoom in, I'm gonna just take some pictures and I'm gonna insert them so you can really take a look at what I'm seeing. So the let's go back over the printer again very quickly. It's a 300 by 300 by 300 build volume. It's got a Titan style extruder on the side. It is a Bowden setup. Um, I have not found any problems. The Ultra Base, I have to say, is outstanding. I will actually take the prints off the, the build pl uh, platform and you can see the ultra base is not even marked and I've been using it virtually nonstop. Anything you see printed here, I printed on this machine. Um, some of the front ones, these two Star Trek guys um, by Wexter, I used printing. Uh, I, it was super, super easy to connect my palette to. I calibrated it. It took me five seconds and I was on my way. So. Let's start with a couple of the beginning prints. So the very first thing I printed was something that I'd normally do a lot. This is also Wexter's uh, Captain Marvel mini dudette. Um, I love this print. This print's support free. And uh, when you see in the pictures, you'll see the quality that this came out. And this is just actually this filament right here. It's D3D Sigma, um, Sigma Neat, and it's uh, NatureWorks 4032D. So it's my favorite filament, in case you didn't know. Um, and then also this uh, Mandalorian ingot by uh, Jeff Wicks or Hex 3D. Uh, I was, again, kind of floored because this has markings all the way around it and it printed all the way around it. So it actually handled it. Then I moved on to my absolute favorite print of all time by Eastman. And I always do this to kind of test printers and see where they're at and how the cooling is. And I think I probably mentioned in the first video that I was a little iffy on the part cooling because it only comes in from one side. And as you'll be able to see from the pictures, the overhangs here that are usually really rough to print on something that doesn't have sufficient cooling are gorgeous. So there's that. Then I moved on to uh, Wexter's uh, Terminator. And I had never printed this one before, so I decided I would give it a shot. Even the zipper, the detail in the zipper came out unbelievable. Then I thought I would get fancy and I found um, uh, on my mini factory, uh, a guy, toymaker.com, and I'll put the link in the, in the box down in the thing down there. Um, He's uh, a modeler from the Philippines and he does uh, Transformers. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? Um, so I've actually reached out to him and uh, I'm gonna be doing at some point in the hopefully near future, I'm gonna do a video. I've printed everything. Everything he's ever, I've, I bought a bunch of the rest of his models and they're amazing. So Bumblebee, although these don't transform, they're extremely articulated. Um, the, I, they move in so many different ways. It's ridiculous. And now these are not printed on the palette. The way he's designed these is you basically print them. And as long as your printer is really calibrated, they snap together. And that's how this works. This is actually printed at 200%. So it's much smaller. Um, I like big transformers. So B was at 200%. And then I moved on to Optimus. Now Optimus his joints are pretty loose, so I haven't really done much playing with him. But you can see the articulation in him is unreal. All the joints are double jointed, so they move in different ways. 
Uh, his head turns and nods up and down, his arms rotate, everything. Uh, even the legs, you can move them fully up because these plates are designed so they move up like this. And all that good stuff. Then I thought I'd get really fancy and I would fire up the Palette 2 because I have it set up between these two printers over here. I have another machine over there that I use it on as well. It's bigger. And Wexter had sent me uh, a couple of his minis, his new mini dudes that he hadn't released yet. So this is Captain Picard. And this was my first real palette print. I did do the calibration print. In fact, I think it's sitting on the floor over here. It is. This was the calibration print. And then I just moved right on and did this. And these are at 125% because I figure go big or go home. And then Lieutenant Commander Data. Uh, anybody who's interested, the skin color on Data, I went crazy trying to find a skin color for him. And this is actually Isan. It's called Bone White. But pretty much everything else, all the other filament is the D3D Sigma Neat. So let's, uh, I'm going to cut into a little bit of the, the picture showing here. Okay, so you've seen the pictures, you've seen them close up. I honestly have to say this printer so far exceeded my expectations. I was not expecting, I mean, it's no secret, I'm a fan of Anycubic. I like their printers, I own all their printers. It's not a secret, I don't hide that. Um, this machine has exceeded every expectation I possibly could have had. Um, the calibration was super easy. The touchscreen is beautiful. I, I, I can probably go on for a week at how much I love this printer, but I really do. Um, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you, I really hate broccoli. I hate broccoli and I also hate pretty much all vegetables, but especially broccoli and peas. I hate green peas. Um, anyway, at the price point, it's kind of a no-brainer. You know, I don't see how any of the other companies that are putting out printers at, you know, five or six or seven hundred dollars are gonna be able to compete with this machine. Unless you desperately want that extra hundred millimeters of height, which I get, some people do. I have that in other machines, so for me it's it it doesn't matter. Um, but this printer overall has I has like I've said. It has so far exceeded any of my expectations, all of them. I wasn't expecting something this beautiful out of the box. The build video, if you watched the first one, it was really crazy easy to build. I was off running in virtually no time and I really haven't stopped with it. Um, I mean, I have a ton of other prints that I've printed on it, um, but it, wow. It's, it really is a fantastic machine. So I will put a link to all the Anycubic stuff in the description below. And hopefully, you know, this would be the shortest video I've ever made. I just, I didn't feel the need to do a whole bunch of time lapses and whatever. I just want you to see the prints. It's beautiful. Um, I have machines that are much more expensive that I have spent way more time calibrating and they require much more maintenance and more tinkering. And this just really doesn't. It's really build it and print. Um, 
I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's fantastic. So what I will say is stay tuned because I have more products from Anycubic already here that uh, I'm going to start shooting uh, this week. Uh, I did just accept a new position, so I'm working a lot now, so I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. But um, I have more machines that are brand new. They have they've been leaked a little bit. They've been kind of teased by any cubic, but I have them all here and I'm crazy excited to start doing, you know, first looks and some reviews on them. So stay tuned for that stuff. It's going to be coming in the next week, two weeks ish. Um, beyond that, uh, please you know, like, and subscribe. The link is in, I don't even know what corner it's in. It's in one of the corners down here. It says subscribe. So do that if you haven't already. And if you like this video, or if you like any of my other videos, feel free to buy me a copy. The link is in the bottom in the, in the description and uh, all that good stuff. So until next time, which I hope is going to be really soon, this is Chris from Versus 3D. Take it easy.